Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, family, depending with where you are. So right now it's uh, it's early, not early in the morning. It's almost uh, 12, 12 a.m. And uh, we thank God for this day. I hope, family, you are fine wherever you are. May God continue blessing you. And um, today is a good day. And uh, for the people who have been asking me about uh, our brother, he went through a successful chest surgery, so right now he's just under some medication. Yeah, so thank you so much again, once again for your prayers, and uh, we really appreciate. It's because of you also he has managed to, like, uh, the prayers worked well and uh, everything went well. Thank you and thank you so, so much. May God continue blessing you. So today is on a Sunday, actually. And uh, the good thing right here, we are always like uh, near some churches. There are like two churches around. So there's one over here. Yes, right over here. Right over here. And uh, there's another one right over there, the one which has some iron sheet. Yeah, so... That's uh, the good thing of uh, being around here, like uh, we are surrounded with uh, many churches and it's a good thing. And uh, today also I wanted to show you some progress and uh, today there's some good news. You'll get to know what the good news is. So um, right here at uh, the Anakemi's farm, the like um, the two brothers I hope you know them and uh, I'll get to show you they are just on the other side they have been really doing here some amazing work and uh, they got to remove like uh, all the tree trunks which were here like this one right here there's another one right over here and uh, this is the biggest one actually they said they really said like uh, this one it really required like a, a lot of strength like uh, the roots they were very difficult like uh, to cut them with an axe so um, this tree log right here it was uh, really tiresome removing it but uh, God by the good will of God they managed to remove it so right now all the tree trunks are removed so we are just remaining with the few trees which are right over here yeah, the few trees and uh, they'll get to grow very like uh, to become very huge and the compound will look like a uh, very beautiful you see they are trying to grow up when you see the leaves they are of this color you just know like uh, the trees are now like uh, maturing they are now getting to grow up so the whole fence right now is surrounded with the small trees and uh, you know like uh, now this tree right over here this uh, cape i think the, it's for the brothers they forgot it outside Ooh. <laughs> okay i'll take i'll take it inside so you see like this tree which was cut right over here not all trees like uh, when you cut them they die some get again to reproduce again like this one over here it's trying to reproduce like it's trying again to grow up and uh, when you give it some time it will get again to grow and uh, become a huge tree like most of the trees which have grown here they were the trees which were cut off like this one these are tree trunk it was cut off but it has get again to reproduce so it will get to grow and uh, become a very huge tree like most of them they were cut you see they are trying to regrow again so the place will uh, will be very shady you see like this one it's very huge it's providing some shade over here so when it will get to grow like a uh, very big it will get to put some big shade around this place so this place will be very shady it will be very beautiful with some green grass on it and also soon we'll get to burn the tree trunks and uh, it will provide like uh, some good charcoal which at least it will be it will be at least like a very how can i say it will save like a uh, we'll not be using even the firewood we'll just be using it once in a while we'll get to use like uh, the charcoal almost uh, 
almost daily. Like it usually produces a lot of charcoal. Like the other day, for those who got to see the video on Ezi's channel, he got to burnt some charcoal, which it's still burning up to right now. <laughs> still, say hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. You're doing well. Um, hmm, maybe you can say hi to my people. Oh. Welcome to my baby my, car. Yeah, my <laughs> channel. My day Steve has a channel. Yeah. They told me they'll get to put videos, but uh, they've never put. <laughs> I think you're, you're still fearing. You yeah, have some I'm not fear. fearing. Mm -hmm. The challenge there is edit. It's oh, uh, you have the problem in editing. Uh, but we are here, we can teach you. <laughs> and soon you'll be putting oh, videos. When? Yeah. When? Any day. Uh, Even right now, when you feel like uh, you want to learn something, we are just here. Diana is here. Uh, like uh, any of us can teach you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today you're doing well. Yeah. Okay. Mm. okay. Want okay. to go there. Yeah. Mm. I wanted to go there and show them some, some progress. Maybe we can go together. Yeah. So yesterday, by the day, they were the ones. Uh, this one is uh, Steve. He has his brother, Chacha Junior, and uh, Ezi. They are the ones who got to burn this charcoal right over here. Actually, it's uh, very hot. It's very hot. I think by tomorrow, it will be good. Like, it usually takes uh, two days when you burn it like this. So when you put the soil from up, it gets to trap the heat. Yeah. yeah. So right now, when you catch it, you can see it's removing some smoke out of it. It's a very, very hot. Yeah. So inside, the charcoal is still making itself. And uh, the goodness, like it will produce uh, a lot of charcoal. So you can imagine the tree trunks which are remaining, they'll get to produce a lot of charcoal. Ezi, say Hello, hi. Hello. Yes. Hello, what's up guys? My name is Ezi. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Baby Karo's channel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. It's a mm -hmm. Sunday. Yeah. That's why you can hear maybe the noise. Yeah. And uh, yeah, today we came to see how the progress of... Uh, the charcoal. The charcoal. Yeah. So it's my first time seeing doing this. Mm -hmm. So uh, someone requested we should maybe burn and maybe show them the process yeah. how it's gonna be. Yeah. And uh, yesterday we, we did it with Steve and Chacha Jr. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this, right, right now I think uh, if you if you see my video, you can easily uh, learn how to create, to burn charcoal even at your home. These are very... Yeah, free. naturally without going to the market to wow. buy the charcoal. Yeah. yeah. Like I believe now when we uh, harvest now tomorrow the charcoal mm -hmm. they're gonna last uh for, for for some time you know yeah maybe when the masons are gonna be coming maybe next week or you know mm -hmm. or on, onwards yeah at least it will try to save because you know when you cook for a lot of people yeah. it really requires like uh like you should uh, at least budget yourself it requires a lot of cooking because uh, they are coming many not only one person so you need like at least to arrange yourself budget yourself in everything so i know with this charcoal it will like have, have helped a lot a lot, a lot. Yeah, and thank you and, and thank and you so just much just a yeah. few trunks like three. Oh, they are just three three trunks just imagine wow. if you could just burn the rest of this hey, it will become a very very big yeah, so it will get to cover like many sacks. Maybe in case people are watching this for the first time, mm -hmm. maybe I can. You know, I was drinking water because guys, the the sun is scorching. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I it's very hot. It's gonna rain. That's yeah. how we, we look at weather here in Africa. Mm -hmm. When you see the sun, there's a type of way the sun will burn you, and you know it's gonna rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so the, the process, mm -hmm. uh, according to how I saw, you just first arrange the small dry sticks yeah. at the bottom mm -hmm. down below yeah the second process is small woods yeah. small chopped woods yeah that's those are the top ones mm -hmm. and uh, now you start putting uh, you know as as the higher you go as you are arranging the 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 fire the, the woods yeah the size the bigger the size yeah sure so down the smaller the as you go it increases the size yeah sure yeah so that's how we did we burn the, the little mm -hmm. And uh, we have to put, they have to put leaves. 
yeah. before before now they put the soil so that it cannot put the fire off yeah 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 now they have to wait they have to check each and every often like uh, for like four three hours to come and check again so that it shouldn't create air spaces yeah sure yeah, yeah. yeah, because right now when you look at the soil, it's covered everywhere. You can't get to see what's inside. So that's how the wood, the charcoal is prepared. There's no air spaces, but I can peep through here. Oh. So by tomorrow, the charcoal will be ready. Wow, a big thanks to them. They really did some amazing job. So it's just smoke which is coming from the top and the goodness even if it rains the it doesn't keep the heat off it still gets burning so there are more and more tree trunks over here we'll get to burn them with time so it will yeah maybe i can show you something yeah uh see what trying to explain to me and uh yeah. tell so yeah you see this part that is not black like this mm -hmm this uh the, the, it means the it's already made the the, the, the charcoal, charcoal is already made wow but here it's still burning it hasn't uh been that's formed. why it's removing a lot of smoke, smoke yeah? Yeah, yeah yeah so this is still in process but yeah. tomorrow mm -hmm. we're gonna remove now the charcoal the whole process wow yeah so it's it's supposed to stay off, uh, to stay after 48 hours wow yeah this is so today the second day yeah, today is the second day. Yeah. So they have to cover it. So this this part they have said is already. Now we, we only need this part. That's how they check it. Yeah. And you know they they check the direction of the wind when they are putting this. Mm -hmm. So if it's five, uh, it is it is moves from maybe the the east to the west. Mm -hmm. You put the mouth east oh, yeah. so that the wind can blow mm -hmm. and lit up the the charcoal wow. burning process. Yeah. yeah. Yes, guys that's how it is wow. yeah Thank so guys you. we are learning i hope also guys you are learning you know? yeah they they can also try at their home places in case there are some tree trunks the trees are which have been cut like they don't go west you can still use them to create some nice charcoal which at least help to save some money of maybe going to the market to buy some charcoal yeah, yeah. but they really did some good good job burning it a good job right now yeah i think maybe even if one day you decide also to burn some yeah with time yeah 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 M maybe they get maybe exhausted yeah you can still add even the, the remaining ones yeah. yeah even i think the ones which are uh, on top of the wood yeah. right here maybe we can show them on this side oh, the one that uh... here here yeah here on the wood they had get to put some tree trunks on top of this hood so that um, the woods could not like uh, bend. They are trying to straighten them. You see the tree trunks are, are helping a lot. Like this one right here. And the good thing you know they are heavy so they help in straightening the hoods. So that when the sun hits it from the top it cannot uh, bend so this is the goodness of the tree trunks so i think with time when uh, they'll get to put the roofing at least now we'll get to burn the whole tree trunks here right yeah, yeah. and the, it's getting dry it's getting dry mm -hmm. so they, that, there's a difference. yeah there's a difference between this type of tree mm -hmm. and that one although they are the same type of um, eucalyptus tree mm -hmm. so they say this is uh this called this uh south african it's, its name is south africa wow yeah so it, it dries it dries quickly quickly but then when yeah, you look at it yeah yeah that one is a uh, kind of uh, when you see it it's yeah. kind of uh, it hasn't dried faster and uh, yeah. it arrived the first one yeah, yeah, yeah. this one was the first one to arrive and uh, this one over here, it was the second one. So, but when you look at it, mm -hmm. it's uh, kind of dried up than the other one. Yeah, so and yeah. Uh, the, the, a good example, mm -hmm. between now, do you see these are eucalyptus? Yeah. So this is more darker. Yeah. And that one is more white. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so that white is this one. Yeah. And uh, this the dark. The other one is this one yeah. right over here. So that yeah. co white color thing is called South African. And this marsh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, marsh. Wow. So that's how they call it here. So let me get closer so that they can see it. Yeah. It's kind of dark. Yeah, this is more black. And that one is kind of uh, smooth. Smooth, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that one is the best. Th that one that one is the best for yeah. the healing, you know. 
let me show the the texture oh it's quite far away from the fence but i think you can see it this one which uh, it's kind of smooth and it's kind of uh white white gray like this it's kind of gray and white at the same time yeah, yeah. so that one is the best, the best so yeah I've learned a lot here, mm -hmm. here when choosing things. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, construction right now it won't be a hard. Uh, like when you'll start constructing. Yeah. Yeah. May, yeah. You know, God willing, or maybe just doing maybe for you. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The next is is you. You know. And I know God will open ways. <laughs> Amen. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, guys. So yes. that's that's how the difference is. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you're supposed to also look at the they prefer when you're buying trees mm -hmm. look at the the bigger the size yeah the bigger ones yeah you better buy, yeah. buy the bigger one although it's, it's kind of costly yeah than but, the smaller one but even if you'll remove these woods there are mm -hmm. some other remaining woods which you can use to do other small things yeah sure like you see the tree that removed this tree also removed some some another wood site over there and the yeah. goodness it removed again those ones the smaller ones uh, which will be used, used. Uh -huh. for firewood yeah yeah so they suggest a way you check it you know yeah sure and the quality yeah sure the quality because you know right now it's kind of uh, rainy here in yeah. uh here where we stay so you know when it rains like uh too much even getting the firewood is not that easy because uh, mostly the firewoods fall off from the tree when uh, they get dry and uh, yeah. children's even some moms here in the village they get to pick it, pick it. yeah but right now the way it's uh, rainy it's uh, not that easy like uh, to find the firewood yeah. yeah so a lot of people right now charcoal is, is a hot kick yeah charcoal is hot kick around this area because the right firewood now, yeah. because there's no firewood they are wet yeah so charcoal will do a good job here yeah sure uh, i believe yeah so a lot of people uh, are right now buying charcoal from mm -hmm. the market yeah yeah guys I, I think it's a blessing yeah although it's raining yeah you know yeah it's, it's, a, it's a real 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 huge blessing you know I, I remember when we were planting these trees oh yeah the day when you were covering you know, you know right now it has uh, really grown very huge so that grown even the it has uh, when you want to know it has grown you remember when you <laughs> put these sticks yeah the plant was from the inside you know? the height yeah yeah but right now even it has tried to open up the, the, the <laughs> this this covering yeah i think, I think we soon we we'll should if it, or right now yeah, you yeah. can remove it you can do it right now okay you can untie it and then so that it we'll, can grow freely yeah you know at the last time mm -hmm. diana didn't have fence yeah 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 we didn't have fence maybe we can put us free yeah right now you know there are no ghosts we had put like this so that uh, when someone could pass through this fence right over here at least you can see there's something over here when uh, at least you've tied something mm -hmm. but when you leave it like that even the goats the cows mm -hmm. they could step on it before diana had done the fencing yeah, yeah so right now i think it's uh, at least safer because uh, we are the only ones here in the compound and uh, we can take care of it yeah yeah it's around three months yeah right now it's around three months wow. since we planted look at the progress guys, yeah you know yeah. Patience is everything. Yeah. Patience, you know. Just Even grow. the other one on the other side, it's growing. But this grow. one is a uh, much no. more taller. But I think this is because maybe you wash utensils from here. Yeah. I think the water. It gets it, some plenty of water. Ah, uh, plenty of water compared now to the. Yeah. Even the watering helps a lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot, guys. But here I think trees do much well. Yeah. Because of the heavy rainfall, the streams. Yeah, sure. There are a lot of streams here. Yeah. And boreholes. Remember, wow. you, you, it was dry and you were watering it? Yeah, I remember. You know, the day when we had planted these trees, it was uh, the dry season. Mm -hmm. So we had like, uh, when you come here daily, you have to at least water it. You know, when the, there's no rain, mm -hmm. at least when you water the plant, it's like uh, you're putting some medicine on top of it. Yeah, so it grows. The more you put water, the more it grows very healthy yeah so right now when i see it uh, it's a uh, very grown it's a lesson so, it, it, it it for me i see it as a, as a, as a lesson yeah things take time yeah sure yeah yeah you just pull yeah yeah wow at wow, least now nice. it, it can grow freely yeah it can breathe wow yeah yeah 
Yeah, guys, you know, it will bring a good shade. They it's, also bring a good shade. It's almost my height. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's true. It has really grown. Whoa. It was reaching on the legs on the other time. Right now, it's uh, very grown. The next month, maybe we shall be climbing it. Yeah, we shall be. <laughs> or maybe having a shade. Yeah, it will having some good shade right over here. Have a good shade. Yeah. And the smell also. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, so actually, family, I was to tell you the good news. The good news. I hope everyone is ready to hear it. For me, I'm very excited. I'm very happy to for Diana Kemi. And uh, the good news is, uh -huh. the good news, there will be masons who will be coming this week to put the roofing, the wow. eagerly awaited wow. part, which we have been waiting for. <laughs> Wow, very, 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 very happy for Diana. It's yeah. actually a, a wow. very, wow. it's a good progress. And what I can say, it's wow. through by the grace, grace of God. God. Yeah. yeah, she has managed to come out through this far. Wow. So at wow. least wow. this week, we'll be seeing some nice roofing here at wow. the at the lintel. Thank God. You know? Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Like, whoa. Yeah. That's that's good news, you know? Yeah. Diana is a, is, she's a fighter. Yeah. She's a fighter. You know, she has and, come and, from very far. And through your support, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And the support she has been getting, you know? Yeah. Oh, it has been a journey, you know? Yeah. Guys, construction is not easy. Yeah, it's sure. not easy, guys. You yeah. Know? Yeah. You know, um, I, I, for me, I'm uh, I'm always happy for each and everyone who constructs because I've seen the journey. Yeah. Plus, being here from we have been here for the foundation, yeah. Yeah. It, it hasn't been easy. Yeah. So from the first stage. Yeah. Now I think we're moving to the second stage. Yeah, sure. You know. Yeah. It has been a big, big, big. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, I think it's it's a miracle. You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, uh, it's been a game. You know, it has taken almost like a month or something since we we, we post since uh, we stopped the building i yeah. think it's kind of a uh, one month yes guys, yeah you know. like it it has really stayed for so long mm -hmm. you see it has even started to okay. how is it called molding or what yeah something like that yeah the algae yeah the algae because of maybe rain water is forming here mm -hmm. yeah yeah but thank you guys we have good news now it yeah it won't be the same again guys. yeah at least when they put the roofing everything mm -hmm. will uh yeah the rain will not be entering inside here wow, yeah wow. That's, you know you know even when now you start putting roofing mm -hmm. uh, and windows mm -hmm. someone can still move here and maybe stay here maybe yeah you yeah know? yeah you know uh, as you wait maybe as you do things slowly maybe plastering yeah sure the floor yeah as long as uh, this um, she's blessed to have solar mm -hmm. yeah? yeah yeah so I think it's a good good progress guys yeah wow I see the arc so we have really missed uh, people being here, guys. You know, a lot of people. And there are a lot of noises. Yeah. <laughs> we were used to the noises. <laughs> you know, the day when they went, mm -hmm. the place was very silent. Even it was uh, kind of boring somehow, mm -hmm. because uh, they, they were good. Uh, they were the best workers ever yeah. I've ever seen. They were very social. They were doing their work with all passion. Yeah, yeah, like yes. they were very dedicated. Like you. So they'll be coming back again. You no, know, yeah. apart from workers, they were friends. So the, the relation we had with them guys, like our brothers, you know? Yeah. So at least uh, the masons uh, will be coming back again to do with the roofing part. And uh, what I can say, it's uh, God who has uh, brought us this far and uh, will forever be grateful. And also a big thanks to our subscribers. They have been very supportive to us. They have been always there for us. And uh, may God also continue blessing you. So I can't wait. Uh, so this week I, I must get prepared because yeah. uh, of cooking. Yes, to, uh, cooking for a big, big family. A lot, you know, yeah. Lots of food. Yeah, you know, sure. They, uh, construction requires a lot of food. Yeah, it's not that easy. Breakfast, so you need lunch. to budget yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it, it, and it's not just a uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. A heavy lunch. Yeah. And uh, also a heavy breakfast. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the work they do is not easy. Also supper they have to mm -hmm. eat because uh, you know they'll be sleeping, sleeping. here. So that at least when they wake up, it becomes uh, much easier to operate from here. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll be staying just right over here. And you the know, same, yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. I was saying, mm -hmm. like, um, it's it's a it's a it's a whole different uh, process also. You know, mm -hmm. that's work by itself. Yeah. Sure. Uh, because that's another budget. Yeah. Yeah. That's another budget. Uh, yeah. Because they have to eat very well. Because if they don't eat very well, they won't work. 
Yeah, Hopefully sure. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, you have to take because you know the work requires a lot of uh, strength. strength uh, There's no work which requires a lot of strength like uh, the people usually construct. Nice. When I was here, I really saw like uh, when it reaches uh, in the evening, you could uh, get them like uh, they are usually very tired. Like when you out from work, you just feel like uh, you just bathe, nice get sleep. some nice sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you don't even feel the hunger. I don't know mm -hmm. the, the the science between maybe a lot of work and not feeling hungry. Yeah. Because I've been there. You you tend like to work that your 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 back. You don't feel hungry. Yeah. When you work a, a lot, you don't even uh, have appetite. I don't know, guys. Kindly, if you know that, maybe tell us uh, the science. And the way they were eating very well when they were here. I don't know about. Uh, uh, I yeah. think maybe it's me, maybe, but I think you are not having the appetite. I think eating. maybe it's because the, the stomach shrinks oh. when you work. Because it requires a lot of strength. A lot of strength. Each and yeah. every part of the body has to to get involved. Yeah. Uh, sure. each, uh, especially the plaster. Mm -hmm. The plaster is the and the the, the ballast the is concrete mixing yeah. the concrete. Yeah. That's most hardest. Oh, by the way, I really tried last time. We tried with, with the the anakemi. Yeah. When you mix the ballast with the cement, it usually becomes uh, very heavy, Guys, and you have to mix it. Very it's very very <laughs> heavy. Like uh, even when you carry it on the wheelbarrow, mm -hmm. eh, the weight is very heavy. You know, a lot of people who get go, go to to the work at the first time, mm -hmm. they usually like give up. Oh, because be uh, it's a very even carrying just the bag, bag of cement when you want to transfer it maybe to the workplace, mm -hmm. it's very heavy. 50 kgs. 50 kg. So if you are not that strong, mm -hmm. I think uh, that one can well, one cannot manage. Yeah, like yeah. Um, there are some people you know. Luckily, us the the, the people who are working, mm -hmm. uh, are, they are quite a, they are much experienced. So mm -hmm. there are no like things like injuries. You know, mm -hmm. you get that sometimes um, people get injuries because maybe they overwork themselves. Oh yeah. 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 Someone carries I don't know how many bags of cement. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But sure. uh, they are fortunate that uh, we, we you you take guys you you know yeah. uh, you take good care of them like you Dana came you know the food mm -hmm. they usually say like you you should cook for them each and every time what are you cooking oh by the way they could ask me yeah. in the, when we get out in the home in the evening yeah. tomorrow what will you be cooking you know? tomorrow what <laughs> <laughs> yeah guys because yeah. even when Karo is doing maybe cooking videos mm -hmm. they usually like there yeah they usually wait eagerly for the meal yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly when I cook maybe some new meal which uh, are yeah. They've never maybe tested. They yeah. are like eagerly waiting for it. The vision. So yeah. it, it makes the, the whole process fun. Yeah. And uh, you know, we thank you guys for always like I've learned a lot from you. Yeah. And I appreciate being here. Yeah. They are good people. I think um they, they should be referred maybe to any each and everyone maybe who needs maybe. Yeah. I will also always like refer them if they if someone needs good people, you know. Yeah, sure. Because you saw the discipline. Mm -hmm. no? And yeah. they always remain here, guys, even after work. They yeah, sure. Like they, they usually remain here and uh, take care, care of, of the them. place. Yeah, the yeah. materials. Yeah, and everything. You know? Yeah. You know, uh, you can buy materials and some maybe decide to to take it mm -hmm. or maybe to overcharge. Mm -hmm. But they are very good. Uh, from from the beginning, guys, they building the the toilet. You know, mm -hmm. how they, they are also experienced. You know. Yeah, sure. And they are humble. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Also, humble. big up to all the people like uh, to all masons out there it's not that easy to construct mm -hmm. big up to everyone who is trying also to struggle there outside mm -hmm. to get something for his family yeah. like uh, many people are very hard working yeah. they have to do what they have to do so that they can take uh, something to their family yes, guys. yeah big up to all the moms and dads out there who yeah. are trying to take care of their family yeah. Big up each and everyone who has to work uh, for their kids to eat, you know. Yeah, sure. You know, they go, go through a lot. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's because maybe of the water. Mm -hmm. uh, they go through a lot and they don't talk, you know. They yeah, have sure. to provide at the end of the day for their family. Yeah. So I just feel uh, I'm proud of each and everyone working, each and every mom, each and every, each and every mom watching us, you know, mm -hmm. and is looking after their children. Yeah. And God bless you. May you never lack. May them. May they get what they want, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's that's a big, 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 big uh, uh, achievement just to take care of people, you know. Yeah. And also, I think family gives you a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So kudos to each and everyone working to ensure his family is doing great, mm -hmm. and things are going. You know, I was saying, um, 
but I'll, I'll say this <laughs> to be just uh, at this moment to be just sane mm -hmm. to be sane mm -hmm. is just another type is um, uh, is work mm -hmm. just to be at your normal self is just work yeah. itself, you know yeah, sure. because uh, there are a lot of things going on mm -hmm. everything yeah guys so that's how it has been yeah 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 so family i think uh, we've come to the end of our video so the good news is that uh, we'll be having some muscles this week and uh, we are really waiting for them because we can't see the whole house picture how it will look like when it gets complete yeah thank you so much for always supporting us you've been with us throughout this journey and uh, may god continue blessing you you are the best and will forever be grateful will forever love you and uh, Thank you so much. So we'll meet again on tomorrow's video. So I have to end the video because right now it wants to rain. It has become dark just abruptly. And right now it was just sunny. Yeah, it was just sunny right now. So I have to end uh, before it rains. So if you haven't subscribed to Baby Caro, kindly do so. And uh, to my friend Ezzy, kindly, guys, kindly uh, do subscribe. so. Uh, thank you so much for watching video this far. Yeah. God bless you so much. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. We love you. Bye. Hasta la, la vista. vista. Ciao, ciao. ciao. ciao.